Blessings, 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 blessings. It is I, Jeeb Snakes, the Hebrew Israelite. It is I, the Hebraic Jew, the Jewish Hebraic God, the Jewish Hebraic guy himself. Blessings to all. It is I, the Hillcrest Hebrew, the Hamas Hebrew, the Hobby Heist Hebrew. It is I, the one who will give you the locust light, the Blathic, the Black Catholic, the Black Christ like man. It is I. To all my Hebrew Israelites, blessings to the world, blessings to you all around the world, to all my Jews and my Muslims and those of many faiths, blessings to you as I come to uplift you and then come to give you uplifted goodness and uplifted spirituality, uplifted spirituality in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Mother, the Daughter, the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Mother, the Father, the Sister and the Brother. That's what it stand for. That's what it's truly for. Aaron's. Amen. To all my Aaronic apostles across the world, I am with you in spirit. I am with you in greatness. I am with you. 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 Um, a lot of you people out there are star seeds. When I say you are star seeds, I mean a lot of you, some of you people, not a lot, but a good portion of you. Our star seed, you're you're of a heavenly essence. You've you've had extraterrestrial contact from extraterrestrial forces. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I get into this lesson, hold on. First off, hashtag. Remember to hashtag J E B U S N I K Q U E S. You see it, you see it. Hashtag Jeeva Snikes, and ye shall find me. Remember that. We're gonna always go back to that. But there are heavenly beings that are walking this earth, heavenly beings, and these heavenly beings, they are so great. You could tell because some of them are being persecuted. Some of them are in circles of, of circles of demonic people. Some of them are in circles of, of deceptive deceptive people you know what i'm saying so you gotta you gotta know how to spot a prophet you got to know how to spot a prophet and you gotta know how to spot when somebody being persecuted it's up to you it's people being persecuted right in front of your face it might be your family members it might be that little kid that's getting beat up by the little cousins and every time that and then when the little kid act out they think the little kid crazy but the little kid getting hit by one of the other little it's something it's always that one. That's one that's being persecuted. See, some people that get persecuted, you know, they got others to help them. And, you know, I, oh, oh, hey, that person's over there being persecuted. You know, when I say persecuted, I'm using this, the, the term persecuted because, you know, we use the term that that term kind of loosely in the Christian faith and, and stuff like that. But when I say persecuted, that means it's people getting persecuted, persecuted. We've all noticed them and it could be at your job. Some people get wrongfully persecuted. So it's up to you to say something. All that, uh, that ain't my business. What, so what if what if the heavenly father said that? What if the heavenly mother said that? Huh? What if what if what if what if what if what if, what if the great 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 mother nature said, no no no, we I ain't gonna bestow none of these 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 feminine blessings upon you, goddess. What if the great God say, no, I ain't finna bestow none of these blessings upon you. What if? So you got these people. Some of these people are demonic Decepticons. They are Decepticons. They're there to deceive you. They're there to deceive you and to stop you from living that path of righteousness. To say, you know what? It's somebody right now. I can feel it in my spirit. Somebody right now want to tell somebody something. And you want to tell somebody something. Well, guess what? You better tell them. You better tell them. Because everybody else around you telling a lie. And they telling a lot of that person. But it's up to you to break that chain. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you can do it covertly. Sometimes you can do it discreetly. Sometimes you got to be non-discreet about it. Sometimes you just got to stand on your truth and be, hey, yeah, I said it. It depends. But the Holy Spirit will guide you in the right way to, to tell or to say, to speak that needed truth that needs to be spoken. The Holy Spirit just bestowed that upon me. In the name of the, whoa, 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 whoa. The Holy Spirit just really bestowed that upon me. Because a lot of times you got people living amongst people and they are, um, they're scared to speak out and be truthful. So we don't want that, right? We don't want that at all. Uh, I'm going to go to the Holy Bible. Of course, I'm going to go to the Holy Bible, y'all. I'm going to start. Um, we're going to go through John. No, wait, no, no, no. Matt. St. Matthew chapter 21. 
uh, chapter 21, uh, verse, we're going to start at verse 20, right? And it says, and when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, how soon is the fig tree withered away? Jesus answered and said unto them, verily, I say unto you, if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. So what Jesus was saying is that, look, man, have this faith, man. This tree is there. Plant your seeds and have your faith. You understand that? Plant your seeds and have your faith because the faith is is. It's within you. The faith is within you. You got to keep that faith. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be trying times for us all. It's going to be trying times for you, me, everybody. You understand that? But it's up to you to keep that faith, to keep that mindset, knowing, okay, you know what? Let me have emotional intelligence. A lot of situations that we as people go through as humans is because sometimes we act in an immature way with our emotions. It's not to excuse the other party because sometimes, you know, we know we all have finger pointed and put the point to blame. But a lot of times, a good portion of times, even though there might be a wrongful action that was acted upon against you. Self accountability is one of the most important things that you must do, because if you love yourself and you're like, okay, well, why was I over there in that first place for that to happen to me? Certain places and you start to move different. You understand that you start to really, 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 really move different. Um, I'm going to go down to verse 27 and it said, well, hold on, verse 26 said, but if we shall say of men, we fear the people for all hold John as a prophet. For all hold John, you know, John, Jesus baptized him, right? And, um, and they answered Jesus, we cannot tell. And he said to them, neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. You know, so Jesus was like, man, I got this God authority in me and nobody can stop it. When you got that goddess and God authority within you, no one can stop you. No one can stop you. No, no, nothing can stop you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Jesus was saying. He said, Jesus said, look, neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. I don't got what, what, what I got to tell you for, for what I do these things for. Why I got to tell you why I'm speaking the truth. Why well, I got to tell you why I spoke the truth about you? How about you? How about you hold yourself to some type of self accountability? How about you think of all the how about you tally up your sins? So many people fail to tally up their sins. Sometimes it is necessary for you to tally up your sins. You must say, hey, you know what? What all did I do wrong? So that way, the next time you can do it right, the next experience possibly with a person or whatever you did wrong, you can correct it. You can correct it, right? Verse 28, 21, 28, same Matthews. But what think ye? A certain man had two sons and he came to the first and said, son, go work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, but afterward he repented. So this first son, and it said a certain man, it, you know, the verse before that, they were just talking about Jesus, right? They just talking about Jesus in verse 21, 27. But then after in 21, 28, it says a certain man. Man, I'm here to tell you, Jesus nice to tell you is that Jesus Christ had sons. And it was why, why they say a certain man. Why is it saying a certain man? It's because they were Jesus' sons. Jesus went to one of his sons and one of them said, no, you feel me? And then, but then he eventually went, they said. And the other one, the, the second one said, came to the second one and they said, likewise. And he answered, I go, sir. Because he knew to address Jesus was his father. He said, he knew this, I go. He knew to go the way that Jesus told him to. You say, I go, sir. And wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. And the second one didn't go. The second one, hold on. The second one said likewise and said, I go, sir. And he went, but he, he, he did not go. So this is the thing. I'm going to read verse 31. And, um, and he came to the second and, and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them twain did the will of his father. They say unto him, 
The first, Jesus saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. So Jesus was saying, look, it don't matter what you doing or whatever like that. It might be some people that you thinking is sinful as heck that still might get into the kingdom of righteousness, the kingdom of heaven before some of you so-called goody people. You see, a lot of people that are so-called goody what they're doing, they live deceptive lives. They live deceptive lives. You understand what I'm saying? So when certain truths are brought to them, they try to silence those people with those certain truths. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Certain, a lot of times, a lot of problems amongst people and human beings is first that a lot of times you can just attempt to go to that person to solve a conflict. I think for certain people's relationships, and not that I think, I know for certain people's relationships, a basic talk, a basic, a basic aura of communication saying, hey, this is my position on this. Where do we stand after this and how do we go forward? And that's just to heal conflicts. And we got to learn that to try to stop, you know, to heal conflicts, try to stop to heal conflicts. I'm going to go to the Torah, guys. Um, you can see, oh, yeah, we, we we in the Torah, too, man. Jeeva Snipes, man, I'm in the Torah, too, man. Um, I'm going to go to uh, 32. 32.10 and Isaiah and Nivium. It says, Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness, and ministers shall govern with justice. Every one of them shall be like a refuge from the gales. A shelter from rainstorms, like brooks of water in a desert, like the shade of a massive rock in languishing land. In languishing land. Right now I'm going to go to the Book of Alma. In the Book of Mormon. Um, in the Book of Mormon. And... Um, We must instill Christ consciousness. You got to get that Christ, that Christ consciousness. It's like a sixth sense that puts you, not necessarily puts you above people, but spiritually, yeah, it puts you above people because we all have that Christ consciousness. Haru, we all have that Christ consciousness. You know what I'm saying? So it's up to you and it's up to us to tap in. So we're going to tap into the Book of Mormon right now, you guys. And we're going to tap into the Book of Mormon. We're going to go to uh, uh, the Book of Alma, chapter 46. And we're going to see, we'll see what, what verse. Uh, chapter 46. We're going to see verse 12. The Book of Alma. We're going to chapter 46. And it say, and, and it came to pass that he rent his coat. So somebody, and he, and he took a piece thereof and wrote upon it in memory of our God. Our religion, our freedom, and our peace, our wives, and our children, and he fastened it upon the end of the, of the pole. So you're putting your stake in your claim. Put your stake in your claim. Let people know what you're about. This is what you stand for. If it's built in righteousness, stand on that righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Stand on that righteousness. Instead, he fastened on his head plate and his breastplate. And his shields and his girded on his armor about his loins. And he took the pole which had on the end thereof his rent coat. And he called it title of liberty. And he bowed himself to the earth. And he prayed mightily unto his God for the blessings of liberty to rest upon his brethren. So long as there should a band of Christians remain to possess the land. So it's talking about Christ and the evolution of the Christian church and things of that nature. But it says, um, for thus were all true believers of Christ who belong to the church of God called by those who did not belong to the church. So for thus were all the true believers of Christ who belong to the church of God called by those who did not belong to the church. And those who did not belong to the church were faithful. Yea, all those who who were believers in Christ took upon them gladly the name of Christ or Christians as they were called because of their belief in Christ who should come. 
Hmm. And therefore, at this time, Moroni prayed the cause of the Christians. Moroni. See, Moroni, really technically, that was one of Jesus' cousins. And Jesus, so the book of Alma, Moroni, is really kind of based on one of Jesus' cousins. And he lived in the land, in the crest of Mary. The land, the land was called Mary Crest. And Jesus nicknamed his cousin Moroni. Manila Maroni, you know what I'm saying? So it's ironic that that book is in the Book of Mormon. A lot of truths, man. So what I'm going to tell you, look, stay in on your truth. Avoid demonic Decepticons. You understand that? Stand on your truth. Speak your truth with no regret, especially when you know the truth needs to level out some things. You know what I'm saying? Because Jesus was a speaker of truth. So speak your truth. Don't be afraid to speak your truth. Be blessed in it. You know what it is, man. Jeebus Snikes. Hashtag Jeebus Snikes or anything. Read your Bible. Read your Quran. Read your Torah. Read your Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon. Read your Catholic literature. Read your Islamic literature. Read your Buddhist literature. Read the stuff that will uplift your spirit. If it's uplifting your spirit in a state of righteousness, keep reading it. Be blessed in the name of the Hebraic prophet himself the Aaronic apostle jeba snikes and hashtag jebusites j-e-b-u-s-i-t-e-s -E -E jebusites follow jeba snikes and you shall be a jebusite follow jeba snikes and you shall be a jebusite j-e-b-u-s-i-t-e-s -E -E and that is in the bible i'm not just making this up jebusites is in the bible like jeba sites is in the bible you better do some research Blessings to you all on the Sabbath day. Blessings as this Pentecostal Sunday is tomorrow, May 23rd. Pentecostal Sunday will be about Pentecost Sunday. So blessings to you all. Stay uplifted. Stay great.